Okay, and welcome students who are taking math for business and finance and math applications. And we are doing the chapter 17 summary practice test problems. Again, uh, these should go pretty quickly. Um, if you have any questions, watch the videos again. And then if you still don't understand something, uh, telephone or contact an instructor. But these are pretty simple. After you've done a few of them, it's all basically the same. So let's quickly move on and get done with these. All right. Okay, summary practice test one. Um, be a lucky owner of a Pizza Hut franchise bought a delivery truck for 30000 The truck has an estimated life of five years with a residual value of $10,000. Leo wants to know which depreciation method will be the best for his truck. He asks you to prepare a depreciation schedule using the declining balance method at twice the straight line rate. Okay. So we're using a declining balance method and um, to do that um, we have to come up with the percentage. And remember the percentage is since we're looking at one year it's one year over the number of useful years right useful life in years and that's going to give us a percentage and then we're going to multiply that percentage by however whatever rate we want to use uh, so in this case here it's twice the straight line rate and that's going to give us a percentage that we'll use for our depreciation calculations okay <clears throat> so let's see here um, and we're going to do this for two years um, okay, so, and there's a reason why we're doing it. Even though the estimated life is, is five years, okay, we're, um, we're showing two years, and you'll, year three we're going to run out of uh, depreciation. So, remember, the whole idea behind declining balance is to take the most amount of depreciation in the first year that we possibly can take, can take so that... Uh, the amount of depreciation declines each and every year and generally you uh, take all of your depreciation since it's an since it is an it, it, since it is an accelerated rate we generally take all of the depreciation before we get to the uh, end of its useful life and remember that the declining balance method is a basis for the maker system okay so let's find out our percentage all right so we have one year over uh, the five-year useful life, which means that's that gives us 20%, and we multiply that by whatever we decide is the uh, the factor for the straight line rate, um, and that's two. So that means we have 40% is what we're going to use. So we're going to use 40%. Now, with that said. Remember, the cost of the truck is going to stay the same. Um, the cost of the truck is 30000 in year one and 30000 in year two. And remember, we have an accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year here. And at the beginning of the year here, remember, these are beginnings. And these two columns, accumulate depreciation and book value, I'm sorry, are at the end of the year over here end of the year over there so at the beginning of year one our accumulated the beginning of the year our accumulated depreciation is zero and our book value is the full amount which is our cost of 30,000 so now our depreciation expense is the 30,000 times that 40% okay which gives us $12,000 of depreciation expense. So at the end of the year we've taken 12,000 in accumulated depreciation, right, because of the 12,000 in depreciation expense, and our book value is the 30,000 less the 12, and that means it is 18,000 at the end of year one. Now for year two, what's happened at the end of year one is the beginning of year two, so our depreciation expense at the uh, beginning of year two is 12,000 and the book value is 18,000. 
to get our depreciation expense, we're taking the book value at the beginning of the year, which is 18,000, and multiplying that by the 40%. Okay, and that gives us $7,200. So our accumulated depreciation at the end of the year is the 12,000 plus the 7,200 or 19,200. Okay. And then we sub, um, when we subtract uh, that 7,200 from the 18,000, we end up with 10,800. Okay, so now uh, the thing that you have to pay attention to here is, you know, it said our residual value was 10,000. Okay, well, look how close we are at our book value. Okay, we're only $800 off. This $10,800 less my $10,000 of residual value gives me only $800 that I can depreciate, you know, for year number three. Okay, so if we were to extend this out to year three, right, um, this would be $30,000. This would be 19,200. This would be 10,800. Our depreciation expense, um, we can't take, you know, if, if we did the math and we took $10,800 and multiplied it by 40%, then that's going to be 4,000 some odd dollars, right? Well, we can't take 4,000 in depreciation. We can only take the difference between our book value and our residual value, which again is this here $800. So we have to take the $800 as our depreciation expense. And that means our accumulated depreciation is the 20,000 and our book value is that 10,000 residual value. Okay. So that's uh, um, how the depreciate double declining balance works. Right? So if you have any questions, you know, feel free to watch it again or, you know, give us a call. All right. All right. Number two, using makers, what is the depreciation for the first year on furniture costing $12,000? Right. so remember, um, with makers, we have to use the two different tables. One, first thing we have to do is find the uh, number of years years for some reason my digital pen is acting up on me as an asset class and then we have to look at the table to find the percentages okay so <coughs> excuse me so we're looking here on the class recovery uh, table okay and we're looking at furniture so we have to come down here and read so we can figure out um, what number of years we're using. And it says race horses, this is automobiles, trucks, semiconductor. Okay, so it's year seven is railroad track, single purpose agriculture, horticulture fixtures, equipment, and furniture. So we're going to use seven years. Now we come down to the seven year, uh, to the annual. A recovery from acres uh, chart and we go one we look under the uh, seven year class and it tells us in the first year we're going to depreciate it by 14.28 percent so we take the we take the twelve thousand dollars and multiply it by the 14.28 percent and that ends up giving us a depreciation expense of $1,713.60 for year one. Okay. And that's relatively simple. Okay. Let, let me just quickly go over that again. Um, when we're using makers, we have to use the two charts. The first thing we have to do is figure out how many years. Then we look at the second chart. Um, we look at the second chart, and we look under that number of years to get our percentages per year. Okay. So when we came down to the first chart, 
since we have furniture, I mean, we're reading this and we have to go through it all until we find what we're looking for. And that tells us the class recovery period, the life, which was seven years, because that was the first thing. The next thing then is, is to come over to the recovery chart and look under that column for the number of years. And these are all the percentages year after year after year. So the first year we're going to multiply the 12,000 by 1428. The second year we're going to multiply 12,000 by 2449. The third year by 1749. Okay. Um, and since this problem only wanted to know for the first year, well, that's all we're doing is taking the 12,000, which is our cost, times that percentage to get our depreciation. If we went to the second year, right, we would still take the 12,000, but this time we would multiply it by, we would multiply it by 24.49, okay? So let's do that real quick, 12,000 times 24.49, and that means, oops, 12,000 times 24.49%. That means we would have depreciation of $2,938.80 in year two. This was year one over here. And if we did year three, well, it'd be 12,000 times whatever that percentage is. Okay, for year three. And we keep on going down, all right, um, until we ended up getting to zero. All right. Okay, so um, with that, again, rewind the video, call an instructor, and I'll see you in the next video, okay?